So James, you're going to fit a window, is that something anyone can have a go at? Yeah it is, um, if you wanted to do it yourself you'd have to contact Building Control and they'll advise you on any specifications for glass uh, and the frame. So they're really to help you, to give you some advice how to do it correctly? Yes they are, but you do need to meet their uh, specifications. Right, and does that mean that they will come back and inspect that later? Yes when they you've will, done the yeah. Job? However, if you're not comfortable with that, then you need to get a fencer registered installer and they'll sort everything out for you. Right, brilliant. Okay, in terms of the next steps, where do we go now? Well, you need to, firstly, you need to measure it, uh, three on the width, top, middle and bottom, and three on the vertical, each side and in the middle. And that, that's a lot of measuring, is that to make sure you get an accurate measurement? Yeah, you need a, an accurate measurement of the aperture all the way around, and then you take your smallest measurement and take five millimetres off it and order it at that size. Right, why would you go for the smaller size? Because you shouldn't take anything off your frame. Of course, yeah, you can always do it to the, to the aperture. Yes. So now the window's arrived, what do we do next with the window? Well basically you need to check for damage, check it's the right size and check it's the right window before you do anything with it. So just give it the once over, yes. make sure it's not being damaged. Yes. Fantastic. Now I've heard a little bit about C marking, can you just kind of clarify a bit more about that? Basically you just need to check on the frame if it's C marked. And, and that's a recent thing that's come in? Yeah that's recent. So yeah. just make sure you look on the frame and identify the CE marking. Yes, yeah. Before we take the window out, we've got to consider the finishing. Yeah, if you've bought an unfinished window, uh, you must finish it on all faces, including all concealed edges, uh, in accordance to the paint manufacturer's instructions. And really, this is just to make sure you're protecting the window from the elements? Yes, yeah, it is. And what, what's the thing about the damp proof? Yeah, when you've taken the old window out, you must make sure either your damp proof or your cavity closers are complete and undamaged. Okay, and if they are slightly damaged, they're, they're straightforward to replace. Yeah, yeah, yeah simple. Okay. Right, so we've got the window, it's on the floor, we've got ready to place it into the aperture. We've got to put the packers on the top, I believe. Yeah, yeah, you place them on the top, uh, no more than 150 from the jams and no more than 450 millimetres apart. Okay, now we've got that, we can lift the window into place. Yeah. And I understand, again, the cavity's got to, you've got to be careful yeah. about the measurements. Yeah, you must place the window frame 30 millimetres into the cavity in, in accordance with building regulations. Right, and obviously in this situation it, it's a demonstration, so we're just into timber, but that's something that you must really watch out for. Yes. Okay, so now we can pack, I believe, the sill as well now as a first point to start. Yeah, pack the sill, uh, same again, exactly the same as the top, no more than 150 from the jams and 450 in between. But what about the two light and the slightly different? Yeah, if you've got a two light window, um, you must pack on top and bottom of the mullions. Okay, so we've packed the bottom, we've got the top, now we can pack the sides as well? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and it's really just the same type of procedure? Yeah, exactly the same, no more than 150 and 450 apart. Great, just important to remember them measurements. So now we've packed it, you're kind of almost changing the shape of this thing a little bit, aren't we, potentially? So yeah, you must, once you've packed it out, you must check see if it's level, plumb and square. All around. Yeah, and check see if the window is actually opening and closing still yeah. without so catching. Just keep checking it yeah. every time you kind of make some adjustments. So now can we go into kind of securing the frame? Yeah, obviously this is a timber demonstration. Um, you'd be doing it into masonry. Of course. So you'd, you'd need a, a mason drill and a mason, masonry bit to go into either brickwork or stone or whatever you've got. Exactly. And this is one method, but there's a fixing strap method that you Yeah, yeah. The preferred method is to use a fixing strap uh, and that goes on the on your window frame itself, um, pass your cavity onto your internal block work. Right. And, and whereabouts do you put them on the window? Same again, no more than 150 from your jams and no more than 450 apart. Okay, so coming back to our window then, again I'm assuming it's more checking, just make sure everything's Yeah, right. yeah, once, once you've done that you, you must keep checking, keep checking, see if it's opening and closing, level, plumb and square. Fantastic. Now, we're in a really good position, we've got the packers, we just, how do we do to trim them back? Yeah, basically all, all I do is just take, get an hammer and chisel uh, and chop them off flush with the frame, uh, do that on each one. Uh, and what's the last step? Basically, the last step is sealing the window. Uh, you just you must seal all the way around the edges and make sure it's uh, weather tight. 